Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Mulkowski, the mathematician, and today we are going to talk about special right triangles, specifically 45, 45, 90 triangles, and how to go from the leg to the hypotenuse. So what I mean by that is if you're given the measure of the leg, how to find the measure of the hypotenuse, the length of the leg, what's the length of the hypotenuse, okay? So I am going to do this in two ways, and um, in the description you'll have links to um, each way. So first we're gonna start with way one. Okay. Okay. So in this, I drew a, tri uh, a 45, 45, 90 triangle right here. So as you can see, 45, 45, and that's obviously 90. So I know the measure of the leg, one of the legs, and I want to know, I have, find the value of y. So y is the hypotenuse. So how do I do that? Well, you re may remember in class when you learned about the relationships between the sides of 45, 45, 90 um, degree triangles as well as 30, 60, 90. So in a 45, 45, 90, okay, you learned that each leg measures X and the hypotenuse measures X root two, okay? So in this specific case, we can use this relationship to solve for Y. So all we're gonna say is, okay, well in this specific triangle, the leg is three, which means the hypotenuse is three root two because it's X, X root two. So kind of the long way, so we can just come over here and say, okay, y equals three root two, okay? Now, the long way to do that, it, it, this is still way one, but the long way to do that is saying like, x equals three, y equals um, x root two, so then because x equals three, y equals three root two, okay? So that's kind of like, Really what you were doing, you could do that in your head. I allowed students to, to get away with doing that in their head, okay? So whatever the length of the side is, um, one, or oh, sorry, I should say leg, I keep saying side. <laughs> whatever the length of the leg is, the length of the hypotenuse is just that times root two, okay? So there you go, that's way one. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about way two, okay? Because one of the things I noticed, and, and like I said, I don't have anything against formulas. The problem is, is that they are memorization. If you don't understand where they're coming from and why they work, then you know all bets are off on a test if you're not getting them. So um, what I'm going to say for, the, for this next one is, what if you're, you're on your test, right? You see this and you're like, oh my gosh, I forget that little diagram that was drawn that showed how all the sides of this triangle are related to each other. I, I don't remember. Was it X, X, and then x root three, something's root three, was it one half? I, shoot, I don't know. And I'm gonna say, totally get it, don't panic. This one, because it's 45, 45, 90, okay, can really help us out. We have a backup plan, which is great. Because remember, in the end, all we care is that you answer the question correctly. Okay, I always said to my students, the method in between, I don't really care about, unless I explicitly stated I'm testing this one thing, I wanna make sure you can do it. But 90% of the time, I didn't care. As long as you didn't break any math rules, you do you, you know what I mean? You, you get it done in a way that's best for you. So here's the case. Oh my gosh, I forget that relationship. I forget that little diet, that little triangle that my teacher drew on the board and oh, I don't know what to do. So you say, wait a second though. This is a 45, 45, 90, which means it's isosceles, which means if I know that one leg is three, the other leg must be three. <coughs> this is totally awesome. And the reason this is totally awesome is because I can use the Pythagorean theorem. I remember that Pythagorean theorem from middle school. And that's just a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Or the sum of the squares of the measures of the legs equals the square of the hypotenuse. This is super cool. So a equals 3, b equals 3, and c in this case is y because that's what we're calling it. It's a variable. So all I need to do is say... 3 squared plus 3 squared equals y squared. Oh my gosh, this is, I have saved the day here. Awesome. So 3 squared plus 3 squared equals y squared. So I'm trying to solve for y. So this is going to be 9 plus 9 equals y squared. And 9 plus 9 is 18 equals y squared. And then I have to solve for y. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So I'm looking at, and I'm just going to flip it over here with the reflexive property. Y equals the square root of 18. Okay, awesome. But I remember, I always need to simplify my radicals. And if you forget how to do that, click here. I've got a nice playlist where you can uh, have your memory refreshed. Okay. So 18, let me write 18 as a product of its prime factors. 
So let's see, 18, if I come over here for my factor tree, where should I do my, or out of the way, 18. Okay, so that's gonna be two and nine, three and three, so I can write it as um, two times three times three. So remember, I don't have a lot of room here, but that's okay. Um, remember, because it's square root for every pair, you cross it out and pull one outside, okay? Again, you can watch that video if you want a refresher here. So then it becomes y equals 3 root 2. Awesome. And that was the, the, um, the answer. Because remember, the, the special relationship is, is if the leg is 3 in a 45, 45, 90, the hypotenuse is just 3 root 2. So if this were 8, 8 root 2. If this were 12, 12 root 2. If this were 27, 27 root 2, right? So, but it's okay. Remember, there's a backup plan. That's what's so great about 45, 45, 90s is that you have this backup plan if you forget that relationship. Because I cannot even tell you how many times I'd be testing kids on this. And because 30, 60, 90 has a root three in it, a lot of kids put this as X root three instead of X root two. And I, and I see the confusion, which is why we want to talk about a backup plan with 45, 45, 90s. Okay. So that's going to be way two. So there you go. Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Mulkowski, the mathematician, and I hope you found that last video helpful. If you have any questions or if there are any topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'm going to leave you with the most important piece of advice I can give you, which is when you're doing mathematics, always ask why.